Hey, let's talk about Action Comics number 1010 Leviathan Rising by uh, Brian Michael Bendis with art by Stephen Epting. Now, uh, if you know me, it's you know that I'm really enjoying Bendis' run on Superman and Action Comics. And uh, it's controversial to say the least. And I think that's good because Superman fans like to complain and they like Superman to be really comfortable and like comfort food and really enjoyable and like just what they've seen before and what they're used to and, and they don't want to try anything else. Where Bendis really wants to write comics um, with a more realistic bent on the characters. And I already feel like Clark Kent and Lois Lane are stronger characterization-wise than, than I've ever seen them written. Uh, the issue starts off with a little uh, uh, bit of a mystery here. And this is... Uh, Director Bones of the DEO uh, scribbling in a notebook and trying to put together the pieces, right, of, of who is destroying uh, all of the covert agencies in the DC Universe. Let's pause for just a second here and look at this artwork by Steve Epting. Now, this is uh, subtle, it's nuanced, finely detailed. This is a, a, a master of comics at work, right? This is just a conversation scene. This is just talking heads. But notice it's uh, the use of different camera angles and setups. A lot of these are, cl are classics, you know, classic shots that sort of Wally Wood's uh, panels that always work, if you've ever read, uh, ever seen that uh, cartoon by Wally Wood. Uh, anyway, his uh, here is a classic Bendis uh, uh, method. He loves to write these double-page spreads. And it's not always obvious, at least to me, that there are double page spreads. So, for instance, in this one, the first panel stretches across the top, but it's hard to, if you were carefully reading this, you might read just the first side and then start reading the second side. I've done that many times in different Bendis comics. It depends on the artist. Now, Epting is smart enough to stretch panels across the, uh, the, the gutter there in the middle. Uh, which is the visual cue that this is to be read as a wider double-page spread of comics. Anyway, it's one of my kind of Bendis uh, pet peeves sometimes, but Epting is doing it the right way. Now, uh, the whole notion, I'm not going to give away spoilers, too many spoilers here. This is sort of a spoiler, but is it? Because the idea is that a character that we've been looking at that's been talking to Director Vo Bones is in reality someone else, I think. Right, because you can sort of see the like uh, the, the the digital blurring effect going on uh, over there, uh, and like like her face changed, and now she is is it Talia Al Ghul? Somebody else? I, I, I'm. It's not easy enough for me to tell from this. I'm sorry to say, like the characters don't look that much different. That it's like, oh my gosh, dramatic reveal. Um. There's also this nice sort of throwback. This is another Bendis trope, right? Like Bendis loved to do this with uh, Jessica Jones's Jewel character, who supposedly had been in the Avengers years ago, but really never was, right? That was just uh, made up for a comic. And they would do flashbacks to 80s style stuff, sometimes drawn by Mark Bagley, usually drawn in a different style. Anyway, this is a classic example. And this is showing where, um, if you're not reading the story, in the previous issue, it was revealed that uh, uh, Lois and Superman go undercover sometimes as reporters, which makes sense if they're right, if they're investigative reporters. But that Superman or Clark uses a Kryptonian technology to make his beard grow and change his appearance somewhat. I think he's supposed to look uh, black or African American, partially. It's hard, really hard to tell. Anyway, his character's name is Chaz. Uh, and uh, uh, and and her undercover name is Andy, and this is sort of a flashback to I guess in the '90s during the Checkmate era, early '90s I think, um, that supposedly they went undercover then, and they're resurrecting these identities in the current storyline to sort of um, reestablish some of their contacts with Spiral, right? The 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 spy agency that has the word spy in its name. Yeah. I really hope this agency gets destroyed because that's just kind of dumb. And anyway, Spiral was an agency created to spy on superheroes, um, but it they're caught up in, in this mess as well. And so this is the first time we've seen several of the other agencies destroyed, but this is the first time we see this sort of spiky character that Bones was drawn in the beginning because he saw it when his uh, 
uh, department was destroyed and hundreds of DEO agents killed, whatever. And this time, Superman's here ahead of time. And uh, he just goes ahead and just is not afraid to show the spiral agent that he's Superman because, of course, he's not Clark Kent, so there's no connection between Superman and Clark Kent. So Chaz uh, just busts his clothes off and is Superman, I guess. Um, and uh, I'm not going to reveal what happens because I don't want to spoil it. I, I'm actually really enjoying it. But I just want to talk about Bendis and his storytelling uh, techniques for a second, right? So Bendis uh, is... All middle. Bendis writes great middles to comics. His his setups, often you're kind of thrown in right in the middle and you're left to figure out what's going on. And the characters are confused and the narrative is not really like straightforward A to B to C. The characters are revealing information and understanding it in bits and pieces and sometimes misunderstanding and going off in the wrong. It's it's weird and it's messy. But it's Bendis, right? And it's and it's real. It's it's the way Bendis likes to write anyway. And I really enjoy it, especially for monthly superhero comics. It it, it it's kind of cool because it's just sort of unfolding and it's great serialized uh, storytelling. So um, on top of of Bendis, uh, is great writing. You've got Steve Epting, a master, doing some of the best work of his career. I think uh, certainly his best work since. Um, the Captain America Winter Soldier stuff. Uh, he's a, an artist. Artist, I think. He's uh, his 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 action stuff is great. I don't care if he's using photo reference or three D model. I don't know what he's doing, but it looks fantastic. It's got an old school feel uh, to the illustration, while at the same time being just modern. And the action is, is is great and awesome. So can you tell I like this? So go out. Subscribe to Action Comics. Pick up the last 10 issues if you can find them. If you can't, just jump in. Dive in. It's Bendis. It's going to go on for a while. The real Leviathan event has yet to even begin. So you've got time. Jump on. Enjoy it. Go to your local comic shop. And uh, if you don't have one, I guess go online or maybe start your own comic shop. Huh? Hey, thank you for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, check out some of these other videos that you might be seeing. Uh, you might enjoy some of my stuff about comics, some of my stuff about computers, or some of my stuff about whatever I feel like talking about today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell if you want notifications about my new videos. Thanks.